Based on the available data, those at highest risk are those who are older, over the age of 65, those with medical problems such as diabetes or lung disease, and those with immunocompromised states such as cancer. I think the most important thing that patients and caregivers can do includes practicing really great hand hygiene. So making sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds. You've probably heard about singing the happy birthday song twice. Um, using hand sanitizer, um, you know, those, kind, those that are based with greater than 60% alcohol are really important. I think avoiding anyone who may be a sick contact um, is really important. And then I think the added things and precautions that someone with cancer should really consider in minimizing their risk of being exposed to people in large crowds. So you may have heard the term social distancing, um, you know, really turning those kinds of activities that may have involved larger groups into virtual activities if possible. So instead of going to the gym, maybe watch a YouTube video and do some activities at home if at all possible. Um, for those who can, avoiding um, big crowds such as in subways and mass transit. Um, and I think, you know, staying at home as much as possible just to limit any potential exposures is really important. In terms of cancer patients' risk, we believe that those patients who are at a higher likelihood of being immunocompromised, so for example, those patients who are post um, a bone marrow transplant and on our high, on our on high levels of immunosuppression, as well as those patients who have hematologic malignancies, because in general, those chemotherapies tend to have a higher um, rate of immunosuppression. If a cancer patient has symptoms, they should call their oncology team first um, to get expert guidance on whether these symptoms are concerning for COVID-19 or whether they're more likely in line with their actual cancer diagnosis or something like the flu. So cancer patients, if they are scheduled for routine non-urgent appointments, I think they should reach out to their primary oncology team to find out how important it is for them to actually come in. For those patients who are actively on treatment, they should continue to engage with their clinical teams. So I know anxiety around COVID-19 is really high um, and there's a lot of worry. I think the one thing to focus on and to remember is that the vast majority of patients are not dying with this illness. Um, and that as long as you are calm and you are prepared and you are practicing the basic tips that we talked about, um, it's really the best that you can do in terms of prevention. My name is Dr. Cardinal Smith. I am the Chief Quality Officer for Cancer for the Mount Sinai Health System. And for more information, please go to mountsinai.org slash COVID-19.